How's it going? Adam Drake here, and today I have the new XR10 Pro G3 and XR10 Pro G3X from Hobbywing. Hobbywing is always pushing the limits of innovation and performance, and that's where these new ESCs come in. So I'm going to go over some of the new features, just kind of give a uh, brief overview of some of the new features and I'll do some additional videos kind of more in depth with some of those features in the future. So with the XR10 Pro G3, this ESC is gonna be used for modified. It can also be used for stock racing, but it is mainly intended for modified. So the G3X is gray, and that's gonna be more of a stock ESC. Now some of the differences between the standard G3 and the G3X, the modified version will come with 13 gauge wire. It has the reverse polarity protection. Um, the stock version will come with 12 gauge wire and does not have the reverse polarity protection. So the reason why the reverse polarity is taken out for stock is by removing some of that stuff, it allows the speed controller to be a little bit more efficient and produce a little bit more power for stock racers. Um, I believe you can still use the reverse polarity, the external reverse polarity um, caps if you want, um, but it does not come with it built in. So just make sure when you wire up the G3X that you uh, adjust the wires to where you, you kind of can't plug it in backwards. Um, as far as features that'll be the same between these two, but are also new, um, is the new data log. Um, so now you can just be able to check a lot of the parameters and a lot more information on your ESC from previous runs. So. Uh, this is something that's new to Hobbywing and that they're really excited about just so that you can kind of monitor, look back at previous runs and um, just have a better understanding of kind of what the ESC is, is going through. Um, there is a new freewheeling function. So freewheeling is, it's different than drag brake, but it's, it's kind of similar in the sense that um, it does do like a slight motor braking, but with drag brake, it goes, drag brake kicks in when you're at neutral. So once you've let off the throttle and you return to neutral, the drag braking kicks in where freewheeling that function, you can adjust to where uh, basically anytime you're decreasing the throttle, it, it's kind of like a real electric car, like a full-scale electric car to where it is a little bit regener regenerative, um, where you can have that slight braking before getting to neutral. Um, so it's a feature that um, you'll just need to play with and see the different track conditions if it, if it suits your driving style and for the application that, that you're racing in. Um, it also has the innovative drag brake mode, which is something that we have, uh, we've had for a little while on the eight scale. And the cool thing with this is it allows you to adjust the brakes and fine tune them a lot more than with using like the traditional or the linear brake system. So with the drag brake function, you can make it feel as if uh, you have brakes more similar to a nitro car. So you're still not going to have brake bias like you would with a nitro car, but you can control the brakes um, where it do, it's the brake uh, power or feeling is not based off the motor RPM. So if you're rolling really slow and you're coming up to the gr uh, like to grid your car, or if you're on track and you're following someone low RPM, you can set it to where you still have the brake strength uh, that is needed, where traditionally your brake strength, if, you're, if the motor is going at a high RPM, you have a lot of brake strength. And when the motor is at a low RPM, 
you kind of lose that brake strength. So it is a bit more tweaking and tuning, but if you spend the time um, and check out some of the settings from the team, that function can be really cool. Um, it has a new uh, smart fan, so start stop function. So um, basically the fan doesn't have to run all the time, so it'll be a little bit more efficient. Um, it can basically turn on when it senses that the speed controller is heating up or gets over a set temperature that the fan will kick on um, to keep the, the speed controller cool. Once it cools down enough, the fan will turn off. Um, for the stock racers, you can remove the fan if you wish to, um, or just in some applications where you feel a fan is not needed. You can remove the fan to reduce weight and lower the center of gravity. Um, but I recommend always using the fan. Um, it's just kind of a safety feature just to help keep your electronics running cool. Um, what else do we have? There's a bunch of new extensive programming options. Um, there's a softening 2.0 uh, technology. Um, the ESC has a smaller footprint and a slightly lower center of gravity. So you're reducing weight, lowering center of gravity is going to improve handling. Um, there is also uh, the brake and throttle curvature. So it's essentially like uh, being able to have brake or throttle expo with the ESC. Um, you can do throttle and brake expo through your transmitter, but now you can also adjust it uh, through the ESC with Hobbywing. So um, a lot of new features, a lot of new technology and innovation. Um, Hobbywing's always trying to, um, you know, push the envelope of innovation and performance, and they've done that with the XR10 Pro G3 and XR10 G3 uh, X. Um, so these are available at some stores now. We'll have them very soon at the Drake Racing. And um, again, we'll have more videos in the future featuring the Hobbywing products and some of the features for the XR10 Pro G3 and G3X.